Hey everyone, uh, hopefully guys are doing well in the comforts of wherever you may be. Uh, so uh, we're getting to that point in the semester where we are winding down and we have uh, two weeks left in the semester. Uh, remember the final day of school is May 15th. And so for the next two weeks, uh, you guys will be working on a final project called the ABC project. Uh, so you can either work by yourself, which I strongly recommend. Uh, and if you work with somebody, it can only be with one other person. So a maximum of two people. You're going to create a 13 slide presentation. You can either choose uh, two, you have two options. Okay. You can either do your presentation from the, for the letters A through M or N through Z using either PowerPoint, Google Slides, or Prezi. Each slide represents a letter in the alphabet. Uh, it must be something that we have learned or gone over in class. For example, if this was a U.S. history class, you could use the letter A for Abraham Lincoln or the letter L for Abraham Lincoln. Uh, in world history, you can use the N for Nile River or C for Christopher Columbus. Uh, so for each slide that you do, you must have the following things. OK, so what I have here in your PowerPoint slide or your Prezi or Google slides, you have to have these things. Uh, you have to have a creative looking version of your letter. So, for example, you know, instead of typing the letter A just like this, uh, you can go to, you know, find some find a cool looking letter A like what I have here, like an A that looks like it's on fire. That's pretty cool. So have that and also have a picture of your topic. So for the letter A, I have that burning, burning A and then a picture of Abraham Lincoln. Simple as that. Uh, and also you must have at least three bullet points of information per slide. So if it is a person, OK, uh, you must have information that includes who was this person? What did they do? Were there any accomplishments that this person achieved? Uh, why is this imp uh, person important in world history? OK, if you decided to uh, talk, uh, if this slide is on an event, information must include when did this event happen? What was going on during this event? Why was this event important in history? If it, if it is an invention, an item, or some other thing, you've got to talk about who was it invented by, where or when was it used, and why was it important, okay? That's what you need to include. So, rubric, very important. This is what I'm going to grade this project on. Each slide will be worth five points, okay? So you can earn a maximum of 65 points total, okay? So where does this 65 come from? It comes from, let's scroll back up, the 13 slide presentation. Either you choose either A through M or N through Z, okay? So that's 13 times five equals 65, okay? That's how it's broken down. Let's go into more detail. Each point in a slide is broken down like this. As long as you have your creative letter, that, you know, fiery looking A, one point. Picture of the topic, that picture of Abraham Lincoln, two points. Each bullet point of information is worth a point. And make, make sure, remember, you have to have three bullet points total. Uh, so that's three points. So that's how that five points a slide uh, comes into play. This project will be entered into two uh, categories. the group and the assessment of learning category. So this is a very important project that can have significant impact on your grade. So this will be entered into the grade book twice, okay? Uh, this project has a deadline date of May 15th, 2020, okay? Uh, I will also, you will also have to uh, upload a rough draft of your project as well, okay? And I will uh, include further instructions on that uh, into Verge, okay? But this video, this present, this lesson is on your final ABC project that I am looking for. Hopefully, uh, you guys uh, were able to take away something from this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Send me an email. Uh, send me a message on Verge or Google Classroom, okay?